You just have to meet the people that are here and realize how passionate they are about what they do and what a difference they want to make. When I come to UCVM, I know that somebody is going to tell me something new, something innovative, something exciting way of doing things. The community that makes UCVM is one of the most innovative, dynamic and youthful community. It is not bound by the historical way of doing things. We have access to sources of knowledge and information that the local veterinarian might not. So it creates a great opportunity to discuss the challenges and try to identify solutions to the problems that the producers are facing. All the studies we are doing are really problem-oriented and they are really applied and they'll have, I think, a direct impact on um, the community of horse owners and trainers. So I think, you know, you don't have to be a, at the Olympic level uh, to benefit from these studies at all. We start our students with hands-on skills right from day one. You end up with a really specific degree that gives you just immense opportunities. You can be a rural practitioner, you can be a boarded surgeon, you can be a radiologist, or you can go work in a lab and do research and do all these different things. We get to rotate around at different vet clinics. Um, that's pretty unique. We do have a pretty high caseload and we have an excellent emergency caseload. And that's something I stress with the students all the time. Even if they're gonna go large animal, it doesn't matter if they're gonna go rural, if they're the vet, they're going to see emergencies. Most vet school across the world, um, the students are mainly just in the teaching hospital. So they see their own teacher and they see all these referral cases, but they don't have that connection with the real world. We prepare our students really well for the real world, like day one vet. So um, yeah, I think that makes us pretty special. I study animal behavior, animal welfare, so I bring a component around animal experiences and emotional states and those types of concerns, rather than a complete focus on health and disease issues. Prion diseases affects both human and animals, and especially in Canada, it affects the wildlife. So our lab is concerned about how to control the disease. The overarching theme of the lab is really tissue regeneration and how that process happens and why it doesn't happen for the most part in adult mammals. The level of integration between UCVM and the medical school is very different and that's really helped us a lot. The diversity of the experts that are here really makes a rather unique training environment. So I can reach out and speak with a human physician, and I can speak with a basic science researcher, and I can speak with an engineer and a veterinarian, and all working toward the same goal. We almost have as many graduate students supporting our research side as we do have DVM students in our faculty, and that makes it for a very strong college. We're always pushing that technological and simulator boundary to really move along with what is appropriate and needed uh, in order to provide the best quality educational experiences for our students. To go so quickly from graduating a class to being in one of the top 50 is, is pretty impressive and I am proud to be part of the team. These are enterprising, entrepreneurial, really brilliant minds that are here so you're gonna meet curiosity and tell me more and let's see if we can make it happen. <laughs>